Okay, now we are at our local grocery store here. There's something that I don't like to do on a grocery trip is go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. There's a lot of temptations in there. Cookies, sweet things, junk food. And going in empty stomach, it's just a disaster for me. It's just too much temptations to keep myself under control. So, with that being said, let's go inside and have a look. So first item on my list is eggs. Normally I go to a grocery store and I always check these things on the egg packaging. Now you can see there's three digits right above the expiration date. These three digits indicate the package date of the eggs. So we are in February right now, it's 3rd of February. So that means 34 days has been passed since the beginning of the year. And it says on the package here that it's 021. That means it's packaged on the 21st date since the beginning of the year. Just grab another carton here. You can see this is packaged on the 32nd date, which means this one here is going to be a lot more fresher compared to the bottom carton. So second item on my list is milk. Normally we see in a store that we have 2% milk, skim milk, 1% milk and whole cream milk. Now what is the really biggest difference between all these milks? Yes, it is fat content, but the 2% milk and 1% milk doesn't mean that 98 or 99% of the total fat content has been removed. If you look here on the label, the full cream milk has 8 grams of fat per cup and the 2% has 5 grams of fat per cup. Now, now this means the 2% milk has a lot higher content than what we expected. And according to the FDA standards, whole cream milk, they need to have at least 3.25% of that total milk volume it needs to be fat and compared to the whole cream milk they are taking out 1.25% of the fat out there and leaving in 2%. Third item on the list I need to grab some frozen vegetables. I like to grab frozen vegetables because sometimes the vegetable is not in season. So the frozen options here I'm grabbing green beans and broccoli. They don't lose a lot of nutritional value in there. So instead of have not having vegetable with my meal, I tend to have a lot of these as backup. We are at the dry food aisle. And I want to say, dried beans, dried lentils, they're really good items that you can stock up on. They have an extremely long shelf life. A package of lentils like this, when it costs $2, they're gonna last you a while. They are an excellent source of nutritional Fiber, protein content, they're really good for you. Now we are at the vegetable aisles and we've got different cans of tomatoes here. We've got, we've got crushed, we've got diced, we've got whole peeled. Now which one are you gonna use for a dish? And is there any difference between them? Normally you think like tomatoes, they all taste the same, but there is actually a little slight difference between these products. In my opinion, I think the whole peeled tomatoes are the ripest, the sweetest tomato out of everything else. They tend to use the ripest tomatoes to, to can these products compared to the diced. Sometimes the diced tomatoes, they are uh, tomatoes that's not fully ripe yet, so they tend to have that uh, sour instead of that sweet, nice, fresh tomato taste. And I like to stock these, stock these up in my kitchen because sometimes tomatoes are not always in season and these are always good to have around. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's a different video. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you guys really enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if I should do more of these type of videos, grocery shopping, give you guys a little more tips on how I do my grocery. If you guys don't like it, leave a comment anyways. You know, stay subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one.